He's gonna take you back to the yes. Yes. No. No. Yeah, when you were a kid in the 80s, and especially the 80s, it was all about reviews. I talked about Nintendo Power. In the 80s, so, so, so. And even into the millennium, we had retro throwback magazines like Video Game Collector. Yeah, look at that guy. So oh, I love this issue right here. E, 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 T, T. Might as well just had a sauce. The same one number shows up 900 times in the same <laughs> ad. Ad, 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 ad! What the fuck is this? Now these guys know how to make an ad right here. It's a dude. <laughs> it turns into a. <laughs> Believe it or not, there existed a magazine for the Amiga CS30. When it came to drawing Link, for some reason they always had a problem. Here he is on the cover of Nintendo Strategies. At least I think it's him. <laughs> this one here, it's like Tim Allen playing Link. No, 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 look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at this kid. He's saying ah! What the fuck that almost killed Aladdin All right. All right. Uh, The beginning shows this dumb character But there's one little problem. This game is a prime example of false advertising. <laughs>